In the First Age, the Union of Maedros, a coalition of elves, men, and dwarves, marched on Morgoth's fortress of Angban to end his dark reign. Maedros and Fingon led a two-front assault. Maedros approached from the east, while Fingon and Turgon prepared to advance from the west. But Morgoth, forewarned by traitors like Ulfang, ambushed Maedros's forces, delaying his approach. Fingon, waiting anxiously for Maedros' signal, saw orcs taunting his troops. As the orcs brutally executed a captive, Gelmir, Gwyndor, filled with rage, led a furious charge, breaking formation and igniting the battle prematurely. Fingon's forces surged forward, making a powerful assault that pushed them to the gates of Angban, but soon orc reinforcements overwhelmed them. Just as hope began to fade, Medros's army arrived, rallying to press the attack. Then Morgoth unleashed his most fearsome weapons. Balrogs led by Gothmog and Glaurung, the first dragon. Glaurung's fire devastated Madros's ranks, scattering his troops as they faced the dragon's relentless fury. Amidst the chaos, Fingon fought a valiant duel against Gothmog, the Balrog's flaming whip casting shadows over their desperate struggle until Fingon was ultimately slain. In a final act of heroism, Azagal, the dwarven king of Belagost, charged Glaurung, dealing a mortal wound that forced the dragon to retreat. Azagal's sacrifice inspired those around him, but the battle soon turned hopeless. As the remaining forces of Beleriand scattered, Hurin, a mortal hero, made a defiant last stand, holding back the enemy to buy time for Turgon and his men to escape. Hurin was captured, but his final cry, day shall come again, echoed across the battlefield. The Battle of Unnumbered Tears left Beleriand shattered and Morgoth triumphant. The Union's defeat marked Morgoth's near-total dominance, leaving the free peoples forever changed by this tragic and heroic stand.